They queued here in Newcastle and at other Iceland stores this morning. The first two hours of trading reserved for vulnerable shoppers. Tesco and Sainsbury's poised to launch similar policies. The young ones, some people are just stupid. They're buying far too much. Everybody is saying the same as me, and there? there's nothing, there's neither milk, there's no eggs. Today, Sainsbury said it's limiting shoppers to three of any grocery product. That's reduced to two for in-demand items such as toilet roll, soap and UHT milk. Tomorrow, the first hour of trade in 608 Sainsbury supermarkets is reserved for elderly and vulnerable shoppers. And from today, Asda said all food, toiletry and cleaning products will be restricted to three items per customer. These growing restrictions on the amount that shoppers can buy are having an effect, especially on larger families. But my impression is that most customers are supportive of this as a way of ensuring a fairer share out. I'm told Tesco will announce one hour, three mornings a week for the vulnerable. And Sainsbury's is expanding click and collect to allow more online ordering. Some people with disabilities were unable to book supermarket delivery till next month. Yes, we're protecting the vulnerable, we're protecting the disabled. None of that's been done. And the economy we've helped drive for years, the online shopping, is now biting us on the bum. Ocado has closed its website till the weekend as supermarket shelves become the first gaps in everyday life created by coronavirus. They'll not be the last. Chris Choi, ITV News.